Of exam, you can repeat any time. 
until the end of exam period, of course. Therefore, not so tragical situation, I, I suppose, anyway. Okay, uh, this is my short presentation. I will speak about my life uh, uh, beside the uh, case studies, but uh, this is the introductory information, and I would like to ask uh, a short presentation. First of all, your name and your background, for example, faculty or foreign student, uh, uh, for example, if there is a BA uh, studies or, or field of interesting and so and so, a uh, short presentation I ask, first of all. Okay, yeah, it, sorry, it's possible, this is the second occasion for self presentation, some student, because in the last occasion we started a, a halfway presentation. Okay, sorry. I'm Esther Barbe and I'm an Erasmus student coming from Spain and I study in the Which part of Spain? Uh, Menorca, yeah. the island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, I study education and we have uh, classes all over the faculties here, not just this faculty. And I, I like sports and yeah, that's me. <laughs> Which kind of sport? Running um, or football? Or? Um, climbing mostly, but everything that it has to do with uh, mountains or nature. Okay, thanks. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Kiara Rosai, I'm from Indonesia, I'm here on exchange program in ISMA, uh, and I'm originally majoring in psychology, but in the uh, main faculty of education. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Erly Benedita, I'm um, saying as Kirana, I'm from Indonesia too. And um, I'm studying psychology in the third year, majoring in clinical psychology, and in here I'm taking the faculty of education. Okay, thanks. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Lapisa Aurorigo, you can call me Lisa. Uh, I'm also an ISMA student uh, that is supported by the government of Indonesia and I'm originally studying uh, psychology and I'm in my third uh, year. I'm also from Indonesia. Uh, hi, I'm Sonia. I am on a BA English course here. And... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. It's enough. Uh, secondly, necessary to make a self-presentation because a lot of new students arrive. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Mate. Um, I'm, uh, I'm studying chemistry, I'm an undergrad, and yeah. yeah. It's a great advantage of this kind of course. A lot of different faculty arrive as students because normally no chance for me to accept the pub or other places, but an intellectually much more interesting place. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Mari, I'm from Barcelona. I am an Erasmus student and I'm actually studying to be a primary teacher. But the truth is that I really love geography and history and everything that is related with these topics. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Miguel, I am from Barcelona too. I am in the Faculty of Education to become a primary school teacher too. I graduated in sports sciences uh, three years ago, and this is my second bachelor. And I love playing basketball, I have basketball coach too, and that's it. After the crisis of uh, Messi. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Cynthia, I'm from Indonesia. I'm studying psychology and I'm also studying Therapy. That's my second year here, and I was just interested in the topics of that time here. Yeah, thanks. Everyone, uh, my name is Laura. I'm from Italy, and I'm studying. Which part of Italy? Uh, the middle north, so, uh, living in, in yeah, yeah, yeah. North from Bologna, um, and so I'm studying to, to become a teacher, uh, primary school teacher. Yeah, but it's very interesting because uh, uh, I studied uh, in the secondary and uh, secondary school and the university in the socialist epoch. Uh, in the close society, very difficult to travel abroad, but we bought a lot of book, and with help of book, travel everywhere. Therefore, I have a special uh, experiences, artificial experiences about Germany, <laughs> because I read a, a book about it. Okay. 
Hello everyone, my name is Moash. It's my first year here, so in chemistry, and I <coughs> this course because I wanted to maintain my English skills and learn more about this historical historical environment. Thanks. Hello, my name is Ondor. I'm from Serbia. I study environmental. Which part of Savoy was it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's more closely. Yes. yes. More, more closely, which uh, which uh, city? Which? Magyar. Yeah, but, because it's a very interesting specialty of Hungary. The uh, first time when I met with American student uh, after my military service, and uh, this American student had a had, had a guidebook whole of Europe, and about the Hungarian history, only two sentences. The first sentence. Uh, Hungarian history, long and confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and secondly, a Hungarian surely will speak about in the past his country was large, a recent <laughs> disorder. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Evi. Um, this is my first year and I'm studying international relations. Okay, thanks. Hello everyone, my name is Milan and um, I'm a second year student on uh, media science and communication. I uh, was already uh, one and a half years um, on biology, but uh, I didn't really quite like that. But uh, I'm interested in environmental problems, so yeah. I took this course because it sounded interesting and uh, the communication skills uh, are to be perfect. So. I like the English language. Hello, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. my name is Blanca and I'm also from Syria and I'm studying international studies here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, interesting for this topic. Why? Uh, because so uh, interesting. I like history and I also would like to practice my English. Yeah, but very interesting, which is the history. History a collective memory of humankind. Yes. It's a smaller or larger community. And uh, therefore, very, very, very dangerous uh, to uh, to manipulate the memory because it's uh, some kind of sickness may uh, may may may, uh, may create a sick and 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 a grim situation. Manipulate artificial memory, the memory. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Pinka, and this is my first year here, and I'm studying computer science or programming. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is the elementary information, and the basic uh, uh, basic uh, structure of this course is a lecture. But time by time, I try to open the discussion with questions. Okay, basically, if uh, we are looking a uh, disciplinary approach for the problem, there is a protocol. Like, for example, in the hospital. For example, once. I put on into the hospital, there is a protocol, blood test, and for example, the basic uh, elementary information about the function or dysfunction of the, of the body. This is the same situation, each part of the discipline. Necess first time, necessary define the most important antecedents, concept, and the methods. First, not how, 20% of the lecture, I try to define the background, scientific background, uh, others, sorry, interrupt. And, uh, I try to speak slowly. And if somebody not understand my communication, stop at me and I try again. Because uh, I have, a, uh, in the last occasion, I uh, told uh, some part of the student, I never learned English at school. Never. I learned English spontaneously when I worked in Switzerland and I worked in research team. My first uh, foreign language is the French. And uh, I worked in research team in the climate reconstruction of Europe and everything necessary to translate to French to me and slow down the work of research team. And the leader of the research team told to me, my way or highway, go back to Hungary or learn English. <laughs> <laughs> I use the second option for financial reason. Okay, because the Swiss salary is not so bad. <laughs> uh, okay, the most important in the education, the good motivation. So, uh, if 
I have, therefore, I have a, a small Swiss accent because I learn spontaneously in everyday communication. So, the first step, look at the science, look at the uh, research field of environmental history. Uh, very interesting and very special that I can define the date when I decided I became environmental history. It's happened uh, 1985, uh, uh, 27, 27 March. This was the first day of spring vacancy. This is the famous place, student hostel, uh, Hermann Hotel student hostel, other side of the Tisa River. And uh, this is the window, window. And uh, I came from eastern part of Hungary. This county named Bihar County, eastern part of Hungary. Uh, in the next occasion, I will take here a map of Hungary, eastern part. And uh, some county of Hungary name in the historical past in the folklore, country, country, which is the difference between the county or the country. Country is so large and able to self-sustainable function. Look at the landscape of Bihar County. Mountain area, Piedmont area, and plain area. It's a quite a complex uh, ecosystem. And I was born here in the marshland area, and I decided, I was second year student history and geography, I reconstruct somehow. I reconstruct uh, uh, in the point of view of historical geography. How we interact a physical environment and society in the tradition of before the modernization, before the industrial revolution, how functioned the Bihar country. Therefore, I decided to travel to, the, uh, to this area. Uh, my mother told me, no, no, it's very dangerous. It's, you know the hurt of the, of the mother. But I was very decided and very young. Therefore, and very important to know, that on the time in Romania was a very harsh uh, uh, dictator named Nicolae Ceausescu. It's, it's, it's quite dangerous to travel abroad without, uh, uh, without uh, support, local support. But I survived. I survived. And a similar situation, you know the Eastern Germany. Eastern Germany. Eastern Germany, it's a similar harsh uh, uh, dictator was Eric Honecke. Uh, I never forget its name. And I traveled to Eastern Germany. And very strange, because the dictatorship is a very dangerous form of the state, but sometimes it's no differences. For example, I traveled, I, I worked in a mason, a mason in the mason factory during the winter, uh, during the summertime, and I decided I traveled to Rügen. Somebody know which is the Rügen, island Rügen. It's a chunk. Whole of the whole of the island of the Baltic Sea, a huge chunk, like the rock of Dover. You know, British eyes, uh, Dover. It's a white, white rock. This is the same like in Baltic Sea. And I didn't know any word in German. Uh, on the railway station, I walked to the test and told to uh, women that next station name. In Meissen, I told Dresden, Dresden. In Dresden, uh, Berlin. In Berlin, I told Rügen. But the employees didn't understand. I repeat, Rügen. Rügen. Finally, I received a ticket. I walk into the wagon and write the controller. Ask me a ticket. I should laugh at me and spoke to me German, I repeated Rügen, Rügen. And finally, I realized from Berlin to Rügen, 200 kilometers, I traveled a tram ticket. <laughs> <laughs> this was a, a very hot, and con controller, it's very good taste of humor. Oh, <laughs> tram ticket. Therefore, uh, it's very difficult to generalize it's dangerous or not, because 
uh, Eastern Germany was a real dangerous, uh, uh, dangerous uh, uh, country, but I met with one person who supported me. Okay, turn back to the story. I traveled two weeks in Bihar country. It's very interesting travel. And realized when I came back to the university, three conclusions. The first conclusion, uh, climate history. Why so important the climate history? Because if we are looking at the physical environment with water level, with vegetation, with soil quality, the key factor, the guiding force is the climate. Why? Because the climate is able to change the water level up and down, up and down, a vegetation and the soil. Therefore, the climate is a key factor. And with help of documentary sources, historical sources, quite easy to reconstruct the trend of change of climate. Why? Because majority of population before the Industrial Revolution, 80 percent, uh, 80 not uh, 18, 80 percent, 80 percent of population peasant. Therefore, for peasant who work in the agriculture, very important uh, change of not climate weather. But you know which is the differences between weather and the climate. Which is the difference? Well, weather is uh, like uh, like today the <coughs> weather was uh, sunny, but in and in general the climate is uh, you know sunny as well uh, in Sagat. Turn, but, turn, turn. Yeah. Uh, one day, one week, one month is the weather. Uh, the uh, uh, how the name is uh, the criterion. The criterion of climate, 30 years. This is the term of climate. After, after data, meteorological data of 30 years, we can calculate a climate. And very important, the climate is changed. Because during my university studies, the climate of Europe calculated uh, between the date uh, 1901 uh, to 19, sorry, 1960. And recently, the climate, the basis of climate is 19, 1961 to 1990. Change the climate, change the standard of the climate. Okay, climate history. The second one, macro regional analysis. The political boundary, not relevant in ecological question. Bihar County and the boundary of Bihar County not an uh, uh, optimal frame of analysis. Therefore, this is to use ecological, ecological category, ecological regions. And finally, my study, uh, its name, not uh, historical geography, but environmental history. Look at environmental history. Environmental history, the most important peculiarity of environmental history, uh, try to reconstruct the interaction between society and uh, uh, physical environment and double side interaction not only the society able to form a physical environment but change of uh, uh, physical environment able to influence the function of society only one example uh, it's possible the Indonesian student uh, you know the Mongolian Empire Mongolian Genghis Khan you know, the name of Genghis Khan? Okay, you know. Genghis Khan, uh, Mongolian Empire, was the largest empire, whole of the human history. Largest compared with the British Empire, largest. Uh, uh, Mongolians, who named in the uh, eastern part of uh, Europe Tatar, Tatar, because Tatar was a tribe of Mongolians, uh, in, the, in the 13th century uh, organized invasion against Hungary and occupied whole, almost whole of the Hungary and stopped on the line of Danube, on the Danube. And the Danube frozen over. Therefore, crossed on the river and occupied the western part of Hungary too. Why so interesting this example? <coughs> because in the following April, 
the great Khan in Mongolia died, and the Mongolian troops back to Mongolia. And look at the situation. Frozen over. And Mongolian invasion coincided. And therefore, Transdanubian area destroyed. If no Mongolian invasion, only a harsh winter, no problem. Somebody falls over. But not any other, uh, any other destruction. Other situation, no harsh winter, only Mongolian invasion, stopped the line of the Danube, and the Transdanubian area, the Western area, survived without any problem. Therefore, some situation, or a little bit same situation later, I will analyze, a Second World War, a German invasion against Soviet Union. Similar situation, similar situation. <coughs> Very harsh winter and stop the invasion. It's a little bit more complicated because not the uh, harsh winter, not the uh, harsh winter stop the invasion, but the rainy autumn. But it's a complicated situation. Turn back to the main day. Interaction. Physical environment able to serve, able to influence uh, historical events. The, that father who named this research field to environmental history, American guy, Roderick Nash, a professor of uh, University of California. Why is so important the role of America in this research field? Because in United, in the history of United States, a transformation physical environment and formation of American state and American nation coincided and, 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 and influenced each other. Because if we are looking at the American history, when arrived the conquistador in the 16th and 17th century, northern part of America, uh, a little bit exaggeration, but generally forest from east to west coast, a huge forest and appearance of Europeans step by step converted to regular land, to a regular land, destroy the natural vegetation, the forest area, and transform. Some area totally destroyed to desert, for example, an area of Texas and New Mexico. Before arrival of Europeans, it's forest area. It's a forest area. And Europeans transform. Uh, it's, it's, uh, and, and destroy the, uh, the <coughs> local ecosystem. And majority of natural transformation unfolded in the 19th century. 19th century. Therefore, the generation's memory say the original condition. Not by chance, the first national parks founded in the United States. And the European practice only followed the American practice. Try to save somehow the natural environment. Okay, Godfather, Roderick Nash. How we can define a uh, physical envi uh, environmental history? One try of uh, definition, Joseph Michael Power, uh, he published one a very seminal, uh, seminal article in the 90s about the environmental history. Environmental history, according to the definition of uh, Joseph Michael Palmer, uh, like a Belgium. You know the Belgium is a very artificial state. In Europe, there are two artificial states which are not a uh, real national. And, and uh, a little bit, this is the same situation with the case of, uh, of Spain. A little bit artificial. Before, uh, formed before the Formation, real formation of the national states. Switzerland, because in Switzerland, uh, living German and uh, French and Italian and Greek Roman. It's a new Latin language. And when I lived uh, one and a half year, I lived in Berlin uh, and worked at the Berlin University. And I asked my colleagues, which is the basis of identity of, uh, of uh, Swiss people? And thought a little, uh, uh, discussed about this problem, and finally, uh, Alpine region. Alpine region. Yeah, it's, it's good, good, but in Austria there are a large part of Alps because no, uh, no, no uh, 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 based on the nationalism. I have to mention a 
national identity and common culture became the basis of state only in the modern time. Before uh, 18th century, majority of state based to empire logic. A Hungarian kingdom before reform area of the 19th century was empire. Somebody know which was Hungarian official language? Official language of communication in the bureaucracy? German, German, Latin. Russian. German never, only a short period. Latin. Latin. Not Hungarian, a Latin. Why? Because the Latin in the traditional time was a lingua franca whole of Europe. The first famous Hungarian poet, Janusz Panowicz, wrote uh, his poems in Latin. And everybody in Rome, in uh, uh, Valladolid, in uh, Nuremberg was able to read because this was the kind of, like recently a little bit the same, uh, the position of, uh, of but not comparable, uh, English. Uh, okay. Uh, and Switzerland, Belgium, my Belgium, that, because need not Belgium. There is a citizenship, a Belgian citizenship, citizenship, but no Belgian <coughs> nationality. Valon, Valon nationality, uh, Valon nation lived in the frame of Belgium, it's a French speaker, and Flemish, no Belgian. Therefore, to be a Belgian, this is a decision. If somebody would like to be Belgian, it's a free option, like to be environmental historian. Because the first generation of environmental historian were in the primary identity geographer, anthropologist, historian, physicist, mathematician, and so on and so on. Therefore, the people who are interested to this field, the secondary and third identity, maybe environmental history, like a Belgian. Uh, resident collective imagination, toleration, a good deal of intellectual uncertainty, diversity, and even incoherence. Environmental history visibly, imperfectly new discipline, imperfectly delineated, highly permeable migratory, ma uh, migratory area, provide unexpected opportunities for intellectual conversation and exploration. It's very interesting. The first generation of environmental history is was unbelievable interesting. Why? Because so different people arrive and uh, try to discuss uh, their problems. Look at one other definition. Paul Sears, it's a famous uh, uh, American ecologist, defined environmental history, environmental history as subversive science. Why subversive? Subversive because for historian necessary take into consideration environmental changes. Because if open a uh, historical guidebook published 20, uh, 40, 50 years ago, no words about physical environment. Only generals, uh, politicians, or revolts, or revolutions, so and so. And very important that necessary take into consideration uh, environmental changes uh, in the process of analyzing a historical process and subvert all of the conclusions about the uh, meaning and the form and the processes of history. Uh, okay, subverted the accepted view of world history. The older history made little contact with the nature. It was concerned mainly uh, with uh, the political activity of humans. Environmental history recognized the biological fact that humans are dependent on natural factors and subject to ecological principles, probably limited, no resource is infinite, value of biological diversity. And there is other important peculiarity of the environmental history. Uh, a human, a personal level uh, or, or global level, there is a double uh, peculiarity. A bearer of culture and an animal. I am not sure that you felt in your life that you are an animal, but a lot of times. For example, I am hungry. After some level, I became like a lion, not uh, physically, but uh, according to mentality. Okay, double nature of human. 
there is a, a procedure of formation a new discipline. The first one, intellectual project, project appeared in the United States. The area of science becoming uh, became an institutionalized department institute. And finally, a graduated student appeared in the labor market. In the United States, where first time appeared environmental history, 10 person of historian, uh, environmental historian, and appeared a uh, uh, graduated student in the labor market, for example, expert of uh, national parks, as expert of uh, ecological NGOs, and so and so. Okay, and this was the last slide in the last week. Uh, if we are looking at uh, background of uh, uh, of the environmental history of civilization, necessary to focus two origins. Like whole of the European civilization, a Judeo-Christian heritage, civilization heritage, or Greek heritage. Look at the first, a Judeo-Christian heritage, the Bible. Uh, the first book of Bible are uh, book, books of creation. If we, we are looking at uh, books of creation, the first ecologically interesting story the expulsion from the Garden Eden. My first question, the ideal place for the first couple, Eve and Adam, why garden? Why not a beach? Why not a cave? Why not a forest? Why garden? Why thought the author of the Bible the best place which can imagine this is a garden? Why garden? Because it's diversity, there are reflex, there are also um, plants that we can survive in that, and that's why it's garden instead of cave or mountain or something. Yeah, this is a semi-desert area. If uh, somebody visited the Near East, desert and semi-desert area. The best place we can imagine the local people is garden. Not by chance, recently, if we are looking at the oil emirates, which is the most important creation, artificial place is a garden, a garden. Therefore, it's a garden eater. And if you know the story, the uh, whole of the garden is open. It's a open use for the first couple. Only there is two prohibited trees. Which fruit prohibited to eat? This is the this is the place of original sin. The fruit of knowledge and the fruit of the uh, fruit of knowledge, good or bad? It depends. Like being stupid is bad. <laughs> Not knowing stuff is uh, sometimes better than knowing. Immortality. Yeah. Oh. The fruit of immortality. And finally. Eve and his husband ate from one of three. Which one? The knowledge. 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 Okay, no time for another one. <laughs> uh, and other interesting information in the Bible, there is one, uh, one term, which is the optimal term of life for human. How long can we live? 240? I have a little bit. <laughs> 100. 140. Uh, no, 120. One, in the Bible, one author of the, of the, of the Bible wrote down that the human should to live 120 years long. But it's after the Noah's part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noah, Noah story. It's a, I, I remember Noah lived, uh, but a special guy. It's a very special guy. Uh, uh, like in the Matrix, some of these are maybe longer. Uh, uh, age of Noah, uh, 960. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's a general. It's a special. It's a prophet. It's a prophet. It's a general. But any other simple people like me, the, op the optimal life expectancy, 120. Why is so interesting? Because 
according to modern biological research, may, may increase the, the, the term of life because, uh, uh, because our organs, <coughs> heart, liver, any other, uh, it became order, 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 and decreased the efficiency of the function. And I read more, more uh, article that the life expectancy of human organs in optimal, ideal situation, 120. It's very, inter very, very interesting coincidence between the biblical life expectancy uh, and, and the res uh, result of the, of the modern research. Okay, we don't know, but look at the story. Three knowledge, good and evil, and three of mortality. We ate, as a humankind, from the three, or uh, how realized the first couple? Which is the first sign of the knowledge? That they covered themselves. Uh, realized, we are made. <laughs> yeah, this is the first. This is the uh, most important, the, the first, uh, first uh, indicator of knowledge, realizing uh, we are the made. Okay. Uh, Somebody know uh, which was uh, the sentence, the original sentence, which told a gun to the uh, first uh, couple, if ate from the prohibited uh, fruits. Yeah. You will die, you will die, you will die. Very important to uh, <clears throat> realize the original prohibition, you will die, you will die and decrease the prohibition on the expansion. Okay, look at the consequences. Look at the text of the Bible. Because you have listened to the voice of your, your, your wife and have eaten of three about which I commanded you shall not eat of it, cursed is the ground because of you. This is the first important conclusion of the Bible. Bible. This earth is a cursed place. You know which is the curse. It's a bad place. No, no hope. No, no uh, chance for the for the for the uh, good life. It's a cursed place. Cursed place. And very important. Until the modern time, until the modernization, the traditional citizens agreed on life and the life on the earth is cursed life and cursed place. Therefore, the focus of the life take after the death. Immortal life, immortality. Modern society and modern citizen basically differ. The optimal age between 20 and 45, 49. The best consumer. There is a focus in this period. In the traditional time, the focus after death. Therefore, not so easy to understand the mentality of the traditional people. Why take or not take some uh, decision? Okay, cursed place came from the Judeo-Christian heritage. Generation by generation, for two, almost 2,000 years, no, more than 2,000 years, but this is the life, this life and this uh, place, cursed place. Okay, uh, in toilet you shall eat of it all the days uh, of your life, thorns and thistles it shall bring forth. Uh, and you shall eat the plants uh, of the field by sweet of your face. Have to work, have to work. And very important in the European civilization, a work the punishment. Work is punishment. It's not a general. You get, for example, uh, a, a Japanese, uh, how the name, uh, Shinto. Japan, in the Japanese Shinto philosophy, the work, the do, is a way of self perfection. Self perfection. Ju do, take one do, and so on. In Europe, no, everybody agree. Work is punishment. It's not enjoy. It's not enjoyable. Situation is punishment. Came from the Bible. If somebody never, never, never read the Bible, 
it's programmed by civilization. Not necessary to read a Bible day by day, but we are living a civilization which program based on Bible. It's a cursed place. It's uh, good for uh, psychologists because it's uh, for therapy. It's uh, produce a new generation, generation first, and uh, and work is punishment. Not by chance. The most important ambition and the most important promise of the polit politician decrease the work time. Decrease the work time. Some days ago, discussed, for example, the candidate of uh, prime minister in Hungary and Balotelli. Four days, four or three days work time. Four. Yeah, right. It came from the Bible. It came from the Bible. It's a, it's a, it's a punishment. Working is a bad thing. Okay. Uh, sweet of you, please. Um, return to the ground yeah. after 120 years. Uh, for uh, out or the, the you dust and dust uh, shall return. Okay. Look at the next conception of the human church came from the Bible, partly from the Old Testament and partly from the New Testament. Look at the Old Testament origin. The Book of Genesis and the Lord is a God. Uh, took the man and put him in, into the Garden of Eden. You know the story. Uh, to dress and to keep, to keep serve the garden in which have been placed the physical environment, the plants and the animals created for human. And the human is and are the steward of the created verb. And the uh, uh, letter of, for Corinthians for, and uh, wrote by uh, Paul, for we are God's fellow worker, fellow worker. You are God's field, God's building. It's very important uh, ecological concept, a steward. A steward. We are a steward of God. On the, and uh, we have to uh, save our creative world. Okay, very interesting story a natural disaster. The most important natural disaster, the story of, uh, uh, of uh, Noah. Why decided to guard all of the destruction of uh, creation? Why? Which was the reason? Disobedience. Sorry? Was it disobedience to him? Disobedience. The air, party, and animals. Disobedience and the evidence. Other? Very interesting to read a Bible. Because angel came down and so, so, said, because angels saw that the, the God made women, women really beautiful and they. No. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't the reason of the uh, uh, destruction of the world. The no, no, that's the word. Like, uh, angel came down to have sex with the women, mm -hmm. and they had giant cats. Everyone knows it's good. It's it's reason of that. No, uh, very interesting to read. Very interesting to read the Bible, because in the Bible there are unbelievable, unbelievable part. For example, before the uh, Noah's flood, there is a text you can you can. Uh, check it, uh, when wrote that uh, one of the crucial problems of the God, that Son of God, you know, Son of God, Jesus named himself Son of God, Son of God <coughs> came down to the earth and they made children with daughters and wife of humans. An interesting place. A skiffy author used this mocking. It's there is in the Bible. And on that time, wrote the author of the Bible, leave giants. Giants. Like for example, a DNA manipulation. I don't know how. A giants on the on the on the um, earth. Therefore, somehow, uh, God realized it's unsuccessful. Unsus Creation and destroy 
whole of the whole of the whole of the human population is a family of Noah, three uh, son of Noah and a large traditional family. And very interesting, Noah was the pure and clean human, but he had a small weakness, which was. No, no, no. The Bible book probably uh, doesn't talk about that it was Jesus because it says that son, the sons of God is plural. So it's not just one kingdom. So no, not only. Uh, a lot of sons of God uh, moved somehow from where I don't know. So it's not Jesus? I don't know. No defined situation. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, open one philosophical. A philosophical chapter. If you are looking the verb, there are a lot of different strategies of uh, of uh, 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 cognition. You know the cognition. Strategy of cognition. A rational strategy of cognition based to the fact. Fact. Verifiable or deniable. This is the fact. It's very easy to learn. Very easy to learn but no final cognition. Because you open one university guidebook published 20, 50, 100 years ago, majority of facts denied. Therefore, the facts, the scientific, the rational facts, is uh, very easy to uh, learn, but not final cognition. If we are looking at the uh, transcendental or spiritual knowledge, in the case of spiritual knowledge, there is a final cognition and two possible paths to each other. But look at, for example, one story from the Bible. Uh, in the New Testament, a key person, St. Paul, St. Paul, somebody you know which is the original name of, uh, of St. Paul? So, Shaul, Shaul. So, he was organizer of persecution of Christian and personally killed for martyr, early martyr of uh, uh, early Christian uh, church. And very interesting, <coughs> traveled to Damascus, recent capital of Syria. And on the crossroads of Damascus appeared to him personally Jesus lost the consciousness and, uh, and uh, for days it's floated between death and, uh, and, uh, and life. And Jesus communicated with himself directly and changed and turned. And he became the most important organizer of early Christian uh, network, Christian church. And very interesting psychologically that he was a very ambitious persecutor of Christian. He changed the position and became very ambitious uh, supporter of Christian church. Therefore, the psychological motive is the same, only turn the field. Okay, I turn back to the story. For St. Paul, this meeting with uh, Jesus, final condition, final condition. And I am able to tell only a story for him. No more, no more. Nobody lost the consciousness. Nobody. 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 And in the case of spiritual way, there is a final condition, but not able to pass to each other. Only tell a story. <coughs> this is the basic difference. Basic difference. And in material life, in the material life, our rational condition much more efficient. And after the time of enlightenment, in the 18th century, dominate the official communication by racial, scientific communication, and the transition of the transcendental spiritual communication close to the ghetto, a church. For example, if I tell to you, in the last week, in the McDonald's, I met with the Gabriel Archangel. Well, if it's possible, I'm not. But not, I'm not able to pass 
these experiences. Okay, turn back to the story. Which was the last uh, question? <laughs> was the last what was the last uh, thing? Yeah, 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 weakness. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah, he got drunk and uh, he got drunk and got me. Ah, drunkard! He was a drunkard! Lost the consciousness a lot of times for drinking a uh, wine. Uh, if, for example, uh, one chapter uh, in the Noah's Ark story that he drank so much wine that lost the consciousness and he lied naked on the tent. I spent my childhood in a small village and uh, alcoholism was a local sport and for this condition not necessary one cup of wine. <laughs> more than two liters and three liters necessary. It's a drunkard. And very interesting, he was a pure and clean person. Take a different consideration the alcoholism. Okay, turn back to the story. Uh, very interesting consequence of Noah's Ark, that after the destruction almost all of the humankind, there is a very important promise of God. The God, after the destruction, huge natural disaster, told Noah, I won't never take similar. And we are alive. Therefore, this is a, a verification that the God on his side take the promise until now. Okay. You know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. A little bit same situation, but local disaster. Not general disaster, only local disaster. Which is the conclusion from uh, from story of Noah's Ark and uh, 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 Sodom Gomorrah uh, story? Natural disaster, each case is consequence of human heaviness and punishment of God for human heaviness. It's a general uh, concept until the age of enlightenment, until the modern time. For example, during the Middle Ages, on the time of Black Death, the Great Plague, everybody agreed this is the punishment of God. And activated the scapegoat mechanism. You know which is the scapegoating? There is people responsible. For example, aliens, not from Sirius, it's a local aliens. It's different city, different nation, different uh, uh, church. Aliens or women or, or educated, over-educated people. Good. Uh, conclusion. Jude, which are the most important pillars of Judeo-Christian heritage? Jump back. The first one. This is a cursed place, cursed place here, and uh, necessary to work for survival. But the human is a steward, fellow worker of God. And natural disaster, each case is punishment of God for human heaviness. Look at the Greek heritage, the most important person of Greek, Greek scientific. Uh, or philosophical heritage are uh, Aristotle. Not only in, in uh, uh, European uh, uh, civilization, but in Muslim civilization too. Why? Why so important for Muslim civilization a uh, person of Aristotle? <laughs> are you Muslims? Not? Okay. You are an expert at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very good. No, no, Aristotle, it's a, uh, for example, until the Middle Ages, end of Middle Ages, if Rodon, with capital, a uh, uh, philosopher in Europe and in the Muslim world, everybody know this is Aristotle. Why? Because I know the answer, <laughs> fortunately. 
Uh, or I know one answer. <laughs> it's not, not sure that this is the thing. Uh, so, if we are looking at the history of Muslim civilization, the first great chapter, Life of, uh, uh, of uh, Muhammad, it's the first one. The second one, uh, uh, Age of Damascus, because the focus of the Muslim verb was Damascus, and after it's uh, 100 years, and after the caliphate of Damascus moved the core area to Baghdad. This is the age of Baghdad caliphates. And which country's capital of uh, Baghdad? Persia. And Persia was a part of Greek verb, Hellenistic Greek verb. And not by chance translated a lot of important author like Aristotle to Arab and flow down, flow into the Muslim philosophy Aristotle too. And very interesting area where live together a Muslim and Christian population like Spain, like Spain for example, translated in uh, monks, in Christian monks, back from Arab to Latin. Therefore, majority of uh, Greek manuscript destroyed and from Arab uh, translation translated back to Latin and, and proliferated all over the world. Okay, uh, and his, uh, uh, his follower Theophrastus. The key concept of Aristotle and Theophrastus the nos and physis. Physis, physis means a physical, a natural verb, a natural verb. All of the verb is with the planets, with the stars, with the sun, with the uh, mercury, with I mean, all of the universe. This is the physis, a physical science named from the Greek physis. And a nos, this is a culture. And according to Aristotle, there is a basic differences between the eternal and the local verb. A physis, a nature, function according to eternal laws. The same trajectory for the planets and the stars and the sun, everything. And uh, for example, the reverse and, uh, and the vegetation period follow and repeat the same cycle. Eternal. This is the whole of the universe. And inside of the universe, there is a small place, a place of culture, a created verb by humans, which laws change generation by generation. But very interesting, finally, a nomos, uh, a nomos under direction of nature. This is a, a little bit contradiction. This is the first one. And the second one, uh, yeah, it's a corpus uh, Aristotelicum. Uh, uh, Aristotle wrote a lot of different uh, topics, physics, on the heavens, meteorology, on the universe, on the soul. It's a, uh, how the name is, it's a polymath. It's a typical anti-polymath. Creation of animal, flying situation of names and winds and so on and so on. It's very huge. And other key theory which influenced uh, development and direction of civilization until the modern time, uh, Aristotle economic theory. Aristotle uh, divided three forms of the activity. It's very important the economic activity because the economic activity in the traditional time it's mean mainly agriculture or some connected uh, activities. Uh, and divided three forms of the uh, economic activity. Natural, half natural, and not natural economic activity. A natural economic activity is uh, plant formation and animal husbandry. Why? Because each economic activity final goal, a profit, a benefit. But key problem of Aristotle, which is the source of benefit. And in the case of plant farming and animal husbandry, sun and rain. A natural, a natural process. Look at 
the not natural economic activity. Financial, financial banking activity. I switch on the line because I have to use the table. Why? Why so hostile with banking and financial offers? Because Aristotle thought about zero sum game. You know which what in the zero sum game. No? But zero sum game mean one of the most classical theory of uh, economics. Its function quite clear manner in traditional society. Look at, for example, a simple situation with three actors. A businessman, B businessman, and C businessman. It's a closed economy. Zero sum economy is specialized to closed economy. A, there are four gold, gold ducats. B, three. And C, five. And the final capital, whole of the economic unit, is uh, 12. If calculated 12. If somebody would like to increase his or her capital, it's possible against other actors. It's maybe A, increase his capital to, for example, seven, necessary to kill the B, or C. But inside of the closed economy, not possible increase the capital, increase the, the, the economic power, only against other actors of economy. In both situations, it's, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. But in the modern time, in the modern time, annulated, is uh, uh, not annulated, but decreased the uh, importance of this theory and appear a new collaborative theory like for example a win-win situation you know win-win that for example two economic actors participate in and increase the profit both sides but for win-win situation necessary a modern self-sustainable economic environment in the traditional society where uh, guided uh, uh, for example change of weather change of climate and limited uh, flexibility, the very limited flexibility of economy, of uh, agriculture, it's quite frequently situated a uh, zero sum uh, gain situation. Okay, half natural economic activity, like for example mining, because the ores and, and gold and, and copper and any other take from the from the from the lithosphere, it's a rock sphere, but commercialized. And for example, you know, uh, uh, stock of exchange and the rate of price is dependent on financial manipulation. Uh, very important, this uh, concept of Aristotle, Aristotle uh, to economic activity uh, until the modern time influenced the, 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 the everyday mentality of traditional society. Not by chance, a financial offers are prohibited activity for Christians. Not by chance, in Europe, specialized Jews and Muslims are banking offers in the traditional times. Because Muslims and Jews and Armenians, who are Christians but a heretical community, closed out the, situ the, the local society, according to logic of Aristotle. It's a specialized to banking or it's a, it's a dumb, it's a dumb activity. It's a, it's a, for, uh, it's maybe annulate a, a, a hope to the immortal life if somebody specialized. Came from the concept of Aristotle, which integrated the the theology of, of uh, Christian Church. Okay, uh, look at the formation of the, the disciplines, uh, scientific uh, researches. 
If we are looking at uh, scientific background of the uh, formation of modern environmental thinking, necessary to identify four scientific uh, direction. The first one, early environmentalist. The second, uh, early geographer. Anna school, it's a historical school. And finally, look at the ecologist. Look at the early environmentalist. Uh, first of the first uh, um, early, we can define early environmentalist, but much more, he was a polymath, politician, philosopher, uh, uh, and, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and generally polymath, uh, Francis Bacon. He tried to summarize the knowledge of uh, early modern time. He published at the beginning of 17th century Novum Organum. Novum Organum is very important because the Organum published Aristotle. A Novum Organum reactualized a uh, classical Aristotle, uh, Aristotelian uh, worldview. A new Atlantis, a utopia about how necessary to organize a modern society. And one of the most important terms of Francis Bacon, the world is made for man, not for man for the world. It's a concept of human stewardship, you remember from the Bible story, the biblical story. Uh, and uh, another important uh, uh, philosopher or uh, scholar of uh, Age of Enlightenment, uh, Anne Robert Jacques Turgot, a French uh, uh, prime minister, and uh, during his uh, Sorbonne students, uh, Sorbonne thesis, uh, introduced uh, with this term, the physical nature is subject on, of constant law, you know the Aristotle, con Aristotelian concept, and the human world is con continuously changing. In nature, same cycle repeat themselves endlessly. Uh, one exception, a human society. Okay, and uh, this is the age of enlightenment. Age of Enlightenment, you know, it's an uh, age of uh, uh, encyclopedia, a uh, French uh, uh, summarizing of, uh, of knowledge about the world, and uh, uh, this ancient man, an magical operation of the world, uh, it's possible last occasion I told to you, uh, in the Middle Ages, were generally accepted the term of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, theological worldview. For example, if I walk into the headquarter of the police with the argument that my uh, neighbor changed and transformed somehow to mice and, uh, and for example, they seek my animals, it's a launch uh, uh, a procedure of inquisition. Why? Because in magical world of view, it's acceptable accusation that somebody is a, it's a, it's a, it's a magician. If recently I walk to the headquarter, take under psychological control me and close to the hospital, mental hospital. Uh, in consequence of this ancient, unmagical un operation of the world, whole of the magical practice, from the theological operation to the classical magical, close to the ghetto. It's a close place. And in public communication, nobody asks. It's felt like I met Gabriel Archangel. <coughs> and very important mechanization of the worldview. Each period of domination of the disciplines, there is a leading disciplines. Generally, a uh, physics or physician, like for example, uh, how the name is... Uh, uh, physicist uh, at the beginning of 20th century, it's very famous uh, person. It's a German, German guy. Einstein, sorry. <laughs> Very late. Very late. Yeah, but uh, sometimes it's, it's possible. Uh, uh, I participated uh, 10 years ago a book presentation uh, in Budapest, uh, in the uh, University of Budapest, and it's a large lecture room. I discussed with the author. <coughs> John McNeil, it's an American environmental historian, and somebody told me it's necessary to speak in Hungarian to the audience. I turned back, dictionary of English dictionary down, and no any other back. <laughs> and slow down <coughs> to the face before appearance of language. Unbelievable. 
I wasn't able to, 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 to tell anything. In Himalaya, the monk meditated for decades for the same situation. <laughs> But uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, I, I discussed my, my friend, and this is the first uh, uh, phases of panic, uh, sick, panic uh, uh, um, attack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but never happened again. I don't know, this was only a taste. <laughs> this is the way possible. I don't know, but it, it, sometimes it's no words, no words. And if, uh, on, the, on, the, on the process of lecture, it's the worst situation which may happen. Okay, um, uh, basically the guiding discipline are uh, physics and the physicist, the guiding uh, uh, scientist, some period of biology. Recently a little bit uh, the biological domination increased and physicists uh, down a little bit, but we can summarize in the modern time a natural science dominated the uh, most important way of, uh, of uh, philosophical uh, philo development, direction of philosophical thought. Uh, this small poem brought down the situation. Alexander Pope, a poet of uh, uh, 18th century in England, wrote this uh, two line long poem Nature and nature's law lay hidden in night, but said that Newton be and all walls light. Little bit English taste, human. Other person, other key person of the age of uh, enlightenment, Georges Louis Leclerc. He was intendant of uh, royal garden. You know, there are two types of garden: English garden and French garden. Which is the difference between the English and the French garden? It's a garden building, two directions: French and. Somebody visited in Munich because in the core area of Munich, I stayed half a year in Munich. Very interesting place, Munich. Nobody Munich, Munich, Bavaria. No? Uh, when arrived to Munich, uh, the first uh, impression that uh, uh, I arrived from Budapest, and Budapest is very hectic city, very hectic. And uh, when I arrived to Munich, slow down. For example, the speed of walking of, uh, on, the, on the pavement and sidewalk, every slow down. And there is a, a rhythm of the city and the many uh, are industrial and financial capital of Germany. It's very slow and very calm city, like a center. <laughs> okay, uh, and the core area of uh, Munich are English garden. Uh, English garden. Huh? Okay, uh, French garden, you know, like Versailles, it's an over geometrical, over organized uh, bush and, and, uh, and, and grass and everything. It's very, very systematical, uh, organized, uh, artificial, geometrical structure. Initial garden, it's a wide nature. Impression of the wide nature. But uh, there is the same work with the English garden. Because the great uh, uh, performance, if take beside one tree from the desert area and one tree from the monsoon region, this is the great performance. And if somebody don't know the type of uh, trees and bush and, and other uh, form of the plants, no environment wide, no, no gardener, but, but the same performance, the same expansion. Okay, uh, Georges Louis Leclerc had a good job. He was the uh, leader of uh, and controller of the Royal Garden. But he was a scientist and organized a huge scientific team like Academia, Natural Academia, and published a long series of volumes, Histoire naturelle générale et particulière, description of the plants and animals in the uh, uh, kingdom of France. And it's a quite a general, even a specialist, because the typical uh, uh, scholar of the modern time, a specialist, specialized one subject. And the deepness, the depth of analysis increasing in this generation, my generation, and I'm 
other uh, other type of the of the scholar are uh, uh, generous. It's quite general survey about the uh, scientific knowledge. And uh, uh, Buffon, because he was the Comte de Buffon, uh, at the end of his uh, career summarized the knowledge as a general knowledge. He published a book, Les Epoques de la Nature. It's quite easy to translate to English, Epoch of Nature. And described the history of humankind and the key factor, the guiding force of this uh, book, how transform, how transform a humankind, a physical environment. And the final conclusion, the most important goal of human civilization, recreation of garden Eden, on the basis of rational manipulation. And finally, the human will be able to domesticate all of the nature all of the nature, and necessary to construct a huge dam, a French-like garden, and everything, everything, everybody, every whole control physical environment. It's very ambitious. Not by chance, even recently, for example, if you open the newspaper on the, on the screen or, or on paper, quite a general concept, yeah, we are fight against the physical environment, like in the pandemic situation. This is fight. Everybody necessary to fight. Open, for example, push on uh, 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 television. A lot of commercial. A lot of commercial. We are a, 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 a normal housewife, a soldier, a soldier of uh, war against a bacteria. Buy, for example, antibacterial weapons, walk into the, for example, kitchen and kill 90% of natural world and we will win. This is the even in the everyday public communication. And based uh, and this uh, conclusion and this ambition uh, turned back and came back to the concept of before. The most important mission of the humankind, checking and controlling all of the physical world and try and don't fail. Okay, this is the first answer. Came from the age of enlightenment, 300 years ago. Uh, this is the most important chapter of Visible uh, de la Nature, uh, underestimated a little bit the age of Earth, denied the Nauss flood hypothesis, seven epoch subdivided uh, history of humankind, and basically verified a human stewardship and based all of the theory to the concept of human stewardship. And the last slide today, uh, George Perkins Marsh, American scholar and American polymath, first who denied the concept, ambitious concept of, uh, uh, of uh, before. He published in the middle of the uh, 19th century a uh, very insignal uh, book, Man and Nature, or Physical Geography, Modified by Human Action. It's very pessimistic. It's very pessimistic point of view, uh, concept. And the final, uh, one of the final sentences of his book, the operation caused setting action by human has brought the face of Earth to desolation almost as complete as the death of the moon, which is the Key, has key element of the concept. The human started to transform. We are uh, uh, after one almost 100 years after the starting uh, uh, starting date of uh, uh, industrial revolution started the transformation of physical environment. And conclusion of uh, George Perkins Marsh that uh, the human will not only transform but destroy whole of the all of the physical environment, and because there is and there were a double nature of human, not only bearer of culture, but animal, not only destroy the physical environment, but this will destroy himself too. Therefore, no problem. And until now, if you open uh, arguments in screen or, or, or 
paper of journal about the problem of, uh, of uh, natural ecological problem, there are, we can see this basic argumentation. No hope, we will die in two weeks, or no problem, everybody, there are a technological solution. Okay, thanks a lot uh, uh, for your participation in the last one, which I told you the last week. Uh, not mandatory participation of uh, uh, lecture, but I don't like to take a lecture in empty room. And therefore, sorry, therefore, I read list of participants. If somebody never participate, no bad conclusion. But if somebody participate quite regularly, in the case of the exam, I take into cons consideration. No bad consequences or positive. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry for my spelling, it's the uh, first time. I have an intervention with a student, therefore it's possible my spelling not so correct. And it is more than a uh, more, uh, more than Esther. Esther. Uh, sorry, uh, Esther. Esther, sí. Benedettini Laura. Gomez Vigua. Miguel. 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 Você que era Imani Shadika? E aí, o Jenny Damon Ariadna? Jenny? Ari, Ariadna. Ariadna, it's enough. Okay. Simple for me. Kiyoshi Mate? Moyo Rango? Moka de Cintia? Morek Blanco, Moza Milan, No Giulia Sonia, No Giulia, Lima Tima Cotta, Parsi Balas, Pipi Zata, Summa di Petro, Sökö Kishinva Elisa, Vi Camilla, Vi buvo la fissa tura. Everybody listen? Hear me? Okay. A note. You can write your name here. And have you registered? Not yet. Okay. But to the net, to the electronic system, you registered? Yes. Okay. 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 Thanks a lot. Have a nice evening for everybody.